hi guys uh, well this was a video I definitely wasn't expecting to make this just goes to prove that you never know what's around the corner in life I didn't know this was around the corner so this is a video on me showing you this I've actually gone and bought one of my dream cars this is a Honda Civic Type R <laughs> it's mine I can't believe it the title definitely isn't clickbait in this circumstance anyway I believe that I have bought the UK's cheapest Type R and in this video I'm going to show you why it was cheap it doesn't bother me because it's a Type R at the end of the day I can see past all the imperfections the car has let's, let's do this video I honestly can't believe it so I've gone and bought myself a very cheap Honda Civic EP3 they call this model it's a Type R this is a very early one being on a 2002 plate and I believe these were the best shaped type R's to pretty much ever exist. I know when they went into the shape after this, the FN2 as it's also known, people did slag it off a bit. I've always liked the kind of spaceship looking Civics. Again, I nearly bought one of those a little while ago but I'll tell you how I bought this one as well in a minute. So not only do I own a Type R, I believe I own one of the best older models of the Type R as well, which is just amazing. Now one of the main things you're probably thinking is Amber, why have you gone and bought this when you've just bought a Corolla T-Sport, which is pretty much a Honda Type R, but in Toyota form? Well, as it goes, you know me guys, this wasn't a planned buy. So I work in the motor trade and we often get old cars like this part exchange when someone buys a more newer car. Old cars like this don't make it to the forecourt, they're too old to sell on and they're too old to add into non-franchise stock, shall I say. So cars like this tend to go off to auction. I found this car in my works car park, did my own little research and I found out this was a cheap little part exchange car. Made some inquiries, I had to be hot on it because I recently missed out on buying an FN2 Type R which was a lot cheaper than this one but it had a lot more mileage. So I made some inquiries, I quickly had to make a decision with this car because I didn't want anyone else to snap it up and I've always wanted a Type R and the deal was done and the car is mine. Now although this was a very very cheap Type R, this car does have some good points as well as a few bad which is why the car was cheap in the first place. Good points is for a hot hatch it's only had two owners so I'm actually the third. The previous owner was a lady so big up to the lady for owning the Type R, I now do also. Also, this has got a full Honda service history, so although I'll show you the cosmetic damages, there's quite a bit on it to be fair. Although cosmetically this car may not have been looked after very well, the most important thing is the engine has, as I say, it's got main dealer Honda stamps, Honda service history. The engine of this car mechanically has been looked after. That's kind of what's more important, I think, with a cheap car like this. Mileage wise on this car it's got 120,000 on the clock which definitely isn't nothing on a Jap car like this so I'm pretty happy with the mileage. There are many reasons as to why this car was cheap. If this car was in much better condition first of all I wouldn't have bought the car and second of all the main thing is it would be way out of my price range. It would be the kind of prices that I've seen these go for. I've been looking around as I was thinking about buying this car I can't see one of these really advertised for less than four grand I paid nowhere near that that's all I am saying let's show you um, the many bad points in this car to be fair but it's not all bad as I just pointed out a couple of few good points <laughs> let's do a walk around this may take a little bit of a while but let's do it so the quite big obvious thing I kind of don't like about the car it's quite a big thing and it's its color I hate black cars because they're hard to keep clean but the last black car I had was my Avensis SR. That was a couple of different shades of black. This looks like 90% of it is all the same colour apart from the bonnet I think has been resprayed. Although the colour match looks good, it just looks a bit flat. So black, not ideal. I think we'll start with one of the most obvious kind of imperfections. So something that I, re I really want to do ASAP because as you can see here, we have got one light definitely in need of a polish pretty soon. The other one isn't so bad, but this is quite embarrassing to look at now. It just looks awful from the front. It's not a very good look to have <laughs> at the front of the sports car. So this is the really, really cloudy one. This one, yeah, isn't, really isn't that bad. There's a little bit of yellow in, but I believe my dad is kind of clued up on this thing. So I'll go over to my dad's with the lights and we'll do that together in a video as I'd be keen to learn and keen to do it myself as well. Well, myself with the help of my dad, I mean. So as I just said, I think the bonnet has been resprayed. It doesn't look too bad, but we have got, I guess, a stone chip. There's a bit of rust coming through. So don't know what to do really about that. 
Grill wise, this really is quite surprising. The only Type R grills I've seen have been mesh ones. I've never really seen a Type R grill where it's just one big slat, so I really like that. I think it might be rare, but I'm not too sure. And then like on my Aventus SR, we have dented wings. This has been pushed in. There's a couple of scratch marks that have kind of been badly touched up. Also a bit of a graze there. Now, another big thing for this car that I want to sort ASAP, as well as the lights, is the wheels. All the wheels are absolutely shot. <laughs> All four. I can't really pick out a good one out of the four. So what I mean by that, heavily curbed, loads of paint appealing off them. I don't know what's happened, whether these the original wheels have just been badly curbed and battered, or whether they've had a really bad respray, hence why um, paint's coming off them. I don't know, but that really needs to be addressed pretty quick. So the tyres look okay, but just heavily curbed. This isn't how I bought the car, by the way. I'll put the photos in now, because when we picked it up, the car itself, the bodywork wasn't too bad, but all four wheels were brown and black. So now we've got the clean wheels, I can kind of see what state they're in. And being a black car, we have got lots of different scrapes, and it's quite obvious that they're there because it is a black car. This is a really, really bad wheel. There's just paint flaking all over the place. It's really, really horrific. On the back arch here, nice big scuff going on there. On the rear of the car now, as you can obviously see, I'll put in a shot now because you can't actually see it on camera, which is good for me, but you won't understand what I'm talking about if I don't show you properly. So we have a big dent here in the boot. I've tried ringing up Scrapyard, seeing if I can just get another Type R EP3 boot. They seem hard to get hold of, and if I could probably find one, it'd probably be in the wrong colour. So I've contacted a dent guy who we use within the trade. He said it's doable, and honestly, I am absolutely not fussed because the dent is horrific here in the boot. If he can make it 80% better, half better, I'll be happily, easily pleased. So work has really begun on the boot, so I said to him, would you like me to remove the inner trim of the boot? So I have, so we can now access the dent from inside the boot. The Civic badge has also been removed, not because I'm going for the D-badge look because that had also been crumpled and under the Civic badge when we've like pulled off the glue and stuff like that um, it has revealed some of the paint so it's obviously stuck onto the paint and peeled a bit of that off plan is to get the dent obviously hopefully pushed out as far as, as much as the guy can and to get another Civic badge back over the original badge where you can see it's still there mainly to cover up the paint that the old badge has peeled off if you see what i mean however it's not all bad here at the back because although we've got a nice big dent in the boot which obviously isn't nice it is something bad we have a nice stainless steel down here a little power flow cheeky little bat box on here so i believe as a past um something that showed up on a past mot basically was a bat box that's rotted out pretty common problem on most cars i'd say has replaced the back box with a not as any old back box a power flow one so me and martin i've been cleaning the car up today ready for this video so i do have to give big credit to martin for not only cleaning the pipe but for giving them a little bit of a sanding down a little bit of a polish and they've actually come up really really well so the exhaust on this does sound real nice it's not over the top would i maybe want to change it maybe but definitely not something i'm looking to do in the near future but it just looks nice from the rear looks oem with the twin tailpipe so yeah something good in the back I really like the early rear lights as well. I could maybe change them for the more facelifted ones. I don't know, I quite like them. Maybe get another Type R badge only because that's peeling off a bit. Uh, we've got original dealer plates on here. They're just going a bit kind of like, you could do some new ones. Bit of lack appeal here, but I might have a plan for that, a solution for that. Get rid of the rear wiper because that is awful. What I do like though is the spoilers on these. I mean, oh, look at that beast. Around the back actually, it's just a boot letting it down. The bumper all seems good. A little bit of scuffing down there then we're back to the horrific wheels on this side which again just absolutely curbed everywhere paint peeling off them this side is definitely better i'd say bodywork wise comparing it to the driver's side unfortunately i don't know what i can do about this but it looks like the paint's kind of cracking a bit and stuff like that i know you can get different seals so i might have to get like one black seal it isn't doing it the other side but this doesn't look nice on this side and again this was what I thought was one of the better wheels, but even there you can see it's absolutely curbed, paint peeling off and everything. And on the front passenger wing, we've got a nasty bit of damage here. Wings pushed in at the front and some more scratching that someone's tried to tart up. Another good thing about the mechanicals of this car is because it's a Honda, it's chain driven, so hopefully, well there's no cam belt to be changed. You can change the chains if you want to. I shouldn't need to. Also, the rocker cover on this, um, needs a refurbish and the, again there's so many different bits you can get for the engine cosmetic stuff 
upgrades the list just goes on and on so i can't wait to get stuck in but yeah although it needs to clean it's fairly tidy here um this is a two liter as well if you didn't know i don't know uh two liter it says iv tech i don't know it's fast and it hits v tech that's all i'm worried about really inside the car now and there is so much to like the thing is when i'm inside here i forget about all the imperfections the exterior of this vehicle holds and yeah in here you just forget about it all which is kind of good with this example i have bought so we have the bucket seats in here standard on one of these type r models unfortunately there are a couple of little cigarette burns we've got one in this side one in the rear i think i don't smoke but so it's really annoying to have those burns in however i can't say it smells of smoke so that's quite good we've got a really nice three piece steering wheel i absolutely love this thing it was really dirty i've given it a clean i've got a thing about cleaning the steering wheels so just think it's gross and it was gross Real nice three-piece steering wheel, still got the airbag. Got white dials in as well, which obviously gives you more of a sporty effect. Got original radio, this has got blanked out. I think aircon should be there, this hasn't got it. I don't use aircon, doesn't bother me. We've got another car with a six-speed manual, so I've never had one and now recently had two. This is like how the above setup was. The, the gear stick was mounted in the dash and I like it and I like it on this car it's really nice because everything's just so close to change gear gear changes are lovely as well I do plan on swapping out the original radio and getting another one in here that can play my music but yeah all in all you can't really tell by being in here the car has done the mileage it has the cigarette burns obviously nothing to do with the mileage plastics are all good I the only thing I don't like at the moment is the gear knobs you know because could just do with updating it's just gone funny stainless steel whatever scratched don't like the gear gator just loads of cosmetic things i want to do to this car all the type R's coming for plaque which is really cool the only other car i've had with a plaque model number plaque whatever is the abarth 124 spider i had so this type R, if any of you are interested is number yeah 3347 and that's just the number in which they're built so mine was that number when it was built if you see what i mean We've got grey headlining, again would be nice if that was black just to give it more of a sporty feel. The seats are nice, they're more comfier than what I can compare to the say belts and a bath. They are more comfier but yet you've still got the bolsters. So for some reason I don't quite know about the colouring but they were black, they've obviously faded over the years which isn't the car's fault. But we've got the green centres which is weird and then we've got the red type R and the little sort of headrests around. But yeah, real real cool place to be. Obviously got electric windows, no aircon, electric mirrors. Yeah, it's just such a lovely place to be. And when I'm in here, all my worries about the exterior of the car disappear, thank goodness. My dad found this out, so I just thought it was just a, oh no, a bit of plastic. Actually it opens, you've got a massive centre console kind of thing there. And also, this is really cool here on the driver's side, you have a cup holder. I mean, that is just so cool. I really, really like that. However, I should mention there is one issue with the interior and that is the ignition. So don't worry, it's not a dodgy hot wired ex stolen car or something. The ignition barrel, I have to sometimes fiddle for the car to, for the key to turn basically to unlock the ignition it seems. I've kind of figured out how to do it. So I may look into that one day because it's not ideal. It's just hard to unlock the ignition to turn the key sometimes, but I can live with it. We'll see if it gets any worse and if I need to sort that out. Can I just say, since I've had this car, I've been scouring the internet for aftermarket parts. Oh my god, there is so many bits you can get for these cars, it's unbelievable. When I was back in my bath days, I thought the parts market then was good. For these, or for these Hondas, or whatever, this Type R, it is unbelievable. There's loads of carbon fibre bits you can get, loads of engine bits, interior bits, it just goes on and on and on. So I'm definitely not short of ideas of when it comes to if i've got money to spend on this car what should i buy i would definitely be having a list written up and i have got a list on ebay already plans for this car is to keep it and to work with what i've bought so this is a bad example of a type r i know that because the money i bought it for i really can't complain i think i've got a bargain i'm just going to name a few things that really annoy me about this car that i want to sort asap headlights polish them wheels and a dent in the boot headlights i know i can do with my dad then is in the progress of being done wheels i think i'll just not be fussed and as long as the wheels look a bit better than mine i will take them <laughs> i will buy them everything else will just be 
maybe some more bodywork stuff i've got a um, new polishing machine i haven't used yet i definitely know this will come up real nice with a polish and cutting into the paint and getting out a lot of the little scratches i want to do stuff like that as well so you know with what i am saying there's going to be loads of videos to come on this car it also drives really well as well the VTEC is just amazing in this car it really really screams absolutely nuts i can't wait to do a driving video for the sake of youtube epic and you would have recently just seen that i have bought a corona t-sport the t-sport and this very similar cars they were made to be rivals so there will be a video coming out after this one of me talking about the corona t-sport plans am i going to keep it alongside the type r am i going to sell it and just keep the type r am i going to keep any of my other cars i've got at the moment or sell them so that will be a little update video that will just fill you in on my mad thoughts that are going on in this little petrol head brain of mine if you've watched this video then thank you so much for putting up with me revealing another car on the channel as i say owner type r is a dream car in my eyes and i know it's a bad example of one but it's a type r at the end of the day and the money i bought it for it's going to be a bad example for that price so i can't wait to get started to transform this car step by step little by little and obviously i'm going to film it all for youtube let me know if you would have bought this example in the comments below or would you have maybe kept saving your money and bought a better one honestly i won't be offended i'm also not going to say the price i bought this car for do you think it's as do you think it's that bad it's not really the main thing is the engine and mechanically it's absolutely sound as far as i'm aware so that's it i am now the proud owner of a type r but it's really tatty but it's a type r Thanks for watching this video. I can't wait to make more videos on this car and get started. As I said, I'll see you in another video. Hopefully it's not another car reveal. I can't keep up myself, honestly. Trust me. Hope you like the car in this video. Bye.